Hey YouTube, it's Dazzin here, and welcome to another episode of I Ninja. So last episode we actually started getting all the talismans, we actually got enough to actually fight the boss, but I actually want to go in and actually try some of the harder missions in the game, like there's little doorways to the right over here, I actually want to see what's actually in them. So uh, let's actually try and see what happens. I actually don't know what's going to happen, but as you can see the door is going to unlock, not are going to lock. And I wonder what's going to be in here. Um, I Ninja, press right to talk to Sensei. I'm curious, I really am curious about these missions. Hunt the enemies. Seek and destroy the number of enemies shown in the kill counter to activate the grade. Okay, sounds good. So we've got like a target to actually kill enemies, but I think what I'm going to do with these missions, I'm just going to speed them up. So, uh, let's go. God damn it! So yeah, you need to get a perfect amount of enemy kills. Oh, especially with the eyeball, and that's impossible, man. I, I feel like we can do this. I feel like we can do this. Thank God we've gotten it. We can get down t to the end of the zone now. I feel like the checkpoints in this game are pretty forgiving, so that's good. You know, they're not too um, like. Unforgiving, as it were. You just need to make, that, make it down in enough time, which we have done. But yeah, we did get a loss on the counter, which sucks. But we did get another grade. So yeah, I feel like with these missions, when I do replay them, I think I'm actually just, just, just going to go and um, speed them up because we've seen the level already. It's just like we've got like a hidden objective and all that. So yeah, I do feel like that's the best way to do it. I'm pretty sure you can just keep replaying the levels constantly, and this should actually give us a new rank on our blade as well. So yeah, I think it was worth it in the long run. But yeah, let's see. We'll get a sword upgrade, as you can see, right there. Uh, if you know, I'm gonna get rid of these. And uh, bye bye, sword. It is a little wave. And with that, we actually get a stronger blade, which is. This golden sword was forged in lead, but turned to gold by a mighty alchemist. It is heavy, but very powerful. Okay, there we go. We've got a new blade. It means we're gonna fight. We're gonna attack slower, but we're gonna do a lot more damage. And the more enemies you kill, the more upgrades you get for your weapons. So, uh, yeah, cool. We actually got a new grade. And I think it's about time to go and do another one. So, uh, yeah. So I wonder if like this door over here is actually a different color now. Okay, yeah, as you can see, it's like now a green green door, so we can go back there when it's when we've got a green belt, which I don't know if we're gonna do. I'm gonna try to maximize as many as we can though. So uh, it'll be nice to know. Okay, this door over here. Yes, yeah, open this one. So I can't remember what this door is, but we're gonna dive straight into it. I wonder what we need to do. Hmm, another challenge, which I'm down for doing. So what we're gonna do, with Sensei? Fill us in. Also, the sword looks sweet. Beat the clock. The grade in this level is available for a limited time only. Get there before the clock hits zero. Can do. So, so time to activate the speed up thing. We're on a time limit. Let's do this super fast. Yeah. So yeah, we're going for a little restart. We messed it up. I don't want to mess up these things if I don't have to. So that's another counter added. So guys, we're restarting that again. I keep messing up so much, like on the little, the littlest things, you know. Seriously, seriously, got me there. Oh, another restart. For God's sake, man, these guys are getting so lucky. So guys, that was a near perfect run. We had 20 seconds left, and yet if I did keep going when I die, when I, when I messed up at the start, I wouldn't have been able to get the grade. So that's why I kept resetting, to be honest, if you are wondering. But yeah, that's another grade. We're pretty much halfway there to our next belt. And to be honest, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to keep going back for these missions, but I'm pretty sure at the end we will have to go back. I don't know if I'm actually going to go and get all of the, um, all of the like, grades complete, because there's like 64 of them, and... Uh, 
there's a lot of them. I'm going to try to, don't get me wrong, I'm going to try, but some of these missions are annoying. And also, there is a counter, as you might have seen, of, um, like, actual um, failures or resets. Because in this game, you have to be precise about everything, and if you do mess up, you might as well just reset. Because you have to be so precise about it. But yes, we can actually go and fight the boss now, which we're going to be doing after we've done the next challenge. Yeah, uh, I'm actually going to try to get all the objectives complete in the area before we actually progress into the next one. The, that's just my, the, my, my preference, really. We can come back in, we probably will. But as you can see, there's, there's only four stages in this area. But you can keep coming back to them and actually getting the, like, grade for that area. So it's like constant, like, levels and stuff. Find the red coinage. Find and bag all the red coinage in the mission to activate the grade. So basically, a red coin mission from Mario. We have to get 10 red coins, and that's going to give us our grade. No idea where the ads are, but I will be speeding up, as per usual. So, uh, I'll actually come back to you when we find the first coin. Now, that's when we're going to do it. There's a coin right up there, and I'm pretty sure we have to kill everyone to actually get this. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed this up until we find the first coin. So there's our first coin. Number two there. So as you can see, like, I'm actually going to just talk through this mission, because... It appears coins are all like pretty much on the n normal route, you know, there's nothing, nothing really out of place. But when it does get to the point where the coins are out of place, which is in the late levels, like, if I remember right, because I do remember these red coin missions, um, that's when it's going to get a bit annoying. But um, yep, that's actually a bit like Berserker. Also, why is there no sound? I don't know. But uh, yep, Berserker owning as per usual. I, I feel like I've wasted that to be honest. But I don't know if there's going to be any on the, you know, the track you have to go on for the eye to eye thing. Maybe there will be. I actually have no idea. Like, like I say, I play this game, never been in it, don't know where half the stuff is. I feel like with red coin missions, though, in any game, you have to proper look around, you know, because you don't know where you're going to miss something. But I have to be boost. Let's go. Boom. It'll be a bit mean if they put it on the track this early on as well. But they might do. Like, I hate when games do that so like you get one chance of gaining it. Yes, there is some on the ball track, by the way, so that's fun. To be honest, I'd rather have red coin missions than the um, defeat all enemies and stuff. Especially when there's like some kind of BS thing, you know what I mean? So I actually want to have a look around here. Because I've got a feeling there probably will be one on the elevator because I did fail with that quite a bit in the last episode. Also, they can put coins in barrels. So it's always nice to know that like they can be put coins in barrels. So it means you have to destroy them no matter what. Um, is there a coin up there? No, there isn't. Okay, is there one over there? Nope. Okay, it looks like there's no coins around here. There probably isn't. I probably just missed it. And if I have... Big whoop. Oh my god, I missed that button, didn't I? Like, I do kind of like the idea of this game, like how they, they like loads of little missions and stuff, which isn't actually required to finish the game like Mario, but it is kind of a bit like a bit of an addition. But it does make the game pretty annoying in certain cases, like... And uh, by the way, the, the reason it count in this game, I don't think it's going to be as high as Refresh of Destruction, because Refresh of Destruction was ridiculously high, but, like, I do think it's going to be up there. Like, I do think it's going to be pretty high. Like, cause it is a complex game and it is pretty difficult. So there's a red coin there, okay. It's fine. You know, I, I want to check over here just to make sure, you know, like, it, it doesn't help, help um, it doesn't hurt actually to look in, because if you don't look, you you won't get, or you don't, if you don't ask, you won't get type thing, you know, so, so you have to check it out just to be on the safe side. Okay, jump. 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 Okay, cool, cool. Let's actually get this coin. Okay, five. I don't know if it's just going to end as soon as we get all the coins, or is it just going to continue on, or what, whatever, but I'm pretty sure the, this isn't going to be too bad to start with. Okay, it's fine, you know, we, we hit the laser, it's fine. Oh my god, like, that's already seven, Jesus. Fine by me, like, fine by me, there's that many. I'm, I want to use a rail, rail here, because I might actually put, be sneaky and put one on the other side, which, to, to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if this is a really sneaky game developer. So, is there anything in these barrels? Let's have a look. Any coins? Normal coins, normal coins. Like, like I said, they can hide red coins in here, which they didn't in this, in this regard, but they can do. So, if you are playing this game, good to be aware of that. So, uh, also, what the hell? Wait, what? Wait, there's something up here. Can, can we actually... I'm actually curious what's actually in that hole. I don't know if you guys saw it. There's a little cubby hole, like, above our, the entrance. So I just want to check this out. I'll see you guys up there. Like, that cubby hole right there. I want to check it out. Because I have a feeling they, they, they might be a bit mean and actually put something in that. If they did, that's just mean. But they, they might be mean. Okay, this is as far as it goes. Let's try it out. Nope. Okay, we're not going to try that out. If we miss a coin, then we know it's up there. Because I'm not going to waste my time with that again. Okay, get down the eyeball, and that's actually complete the maze. So it looks like there's, there's going to be at least two. At least two. I, there's got to be three, though. Because they wouldn't be that mean to put one up there. Or would they? They might just be that mean. Okay, there's a red coin there. I'm not going to waste my time going all the way down to the bottom of the coin, by the way. I want to fight the boss this episode, so I don't want to waste too much time if we don't have to. Okay. Red coin got. Spin the angle around. 
Okay, there's a coin right there. We're gonna see that one. And there's gonna be another coin somewhere. No idea. Oh, oh, oh my god. No idea where it's gonna be, but I'm, it's gonna be somewhere around here. I can I can assure you that. Okay. Okay. Th there's only one coin there, so I'm hoping we haven't missed one. Because we have, that's a bit rubbish. But I'm guessing it's gonna be on the next window. But I do like the idea of like these little challenges. Like it is kind of like shine sprites and stars in Mario. And I feel like that's where they got the inspiration for this game from. Like it's like a stealth based game with Mario. And I'm honestly surprised this game actually doesn't have like more of a fan base because it was such a fun game. It was actually one of the first games I got from Blockbuster when I was a kid. Like Blockbuster wasn't as big as it was in America in the UK, but it was still pretty big. Like oh, that there. Okay, there's lots of coin burnt. It was still pretty large. It still had quite a bit of traffic and. This is, one, this is the, one of the only games I got from Blockbuster, and to be honest, it's a fun game, and I love it. By the way, we had enough for the grade. Well, hey. So with that, we've got another grade, and it's time to fight the boss. You know, time to fight the boss. But yeah, this actually puts halfway to our next belt. So, uh, yep. By the way, if we didn't actually come back here, we would have to still come back and actually get these grades later on, because there isn't enough in the story, like, without coming back, you know what I mean? So uh, we've got a new high score, we've got, we got we some more, we got more rank bonus, and we actually got some more coinage. So, uh, yeah, save game. I'm pretty sure when we did gain a rank up, by the way, in belt, we actually gained a HP increase. So, uh, that's pretty cool. But, I feel like the boss in this game are pretty unique, and we'll actually get to see that right here. So, let's actually go over here and actually do the boss. So, uh, Kaiser. Yeah, fight me, bro. Fight me. This is it. Take control of Tekiyama and slug it out with the mighty Kaiser. Use your superior speed to dodge and counter his devastating punches. Beware. You'll fight dirty. Well, that's so, uh, all clear like, now. we've got actually, like, to have a fight, a mech fight as the first boss. By far, it's probably one of the most coolest bosses in the game. You can actually hear him running down the, um, actual part of the robot, which I love. I don't know why, as a kid, like, this, this fight was just so epic to me. And it, it's just so cool that, like, like, is it Kayama has actually been destroyed by Kaiser? But now we're actually going to go and take on Kaiser ourselves. It kind of has me all, like, Samurai Jack. You know, the Cow Network TV show was actually getting rebooted. I don't know why. That face just reminds me of, like, that kind of thing. But we are in the mouth and we are alive. You know, that means it's time to do some mech fighting. I'm so pumped for this fight, man. Oh my god, it's, it's getting up. It's getting up. It's up. I'm ready to pounce. Okay, that's, that's fine, you know. That's fine. To be honest, this game still looks pretty beautiful to think it came out in 2003, don't you think? I don't think it bloody does. But yes, it's time for the fight of a lifetime. Boom, boom, massive feet as well. Jesus, I'm pumped for this fight. I'm really pumped. Defense system online. Welcome to the Tekatron Robo Fighter. Okay, I'm ready. Come on. Download training program. Yeah, go on. Yeah, might, might as well do it. I think I'm actually gonna skip this. Okay, I think that's the end of the tutorial. So it's like left, right, left, right. Um, to, to punch. Well, yep, laser space battle. But like, if you remember, this is the robot I pointed out previously. But. Fight. We're literally in a full-on boxy fight. We can't actually dodge. From what I remember, this boss isn't too bad. Let's actually get some uppercuts here. Okay, he's gonna hit me. Okay, dodge. Whoa, hey. So, okay, it looks like whichever aim in. Oh god. Okay, we've got to wait for the um, crosshairs to come up. I'm guessing. Okay, laser beam. Oh, or not? Oh. Ooh. You don't wanna fight me, bro? Ah, oh, balls. I feel like we're not taking too much hits here. Okay, let's see which which, which is gonna attack me. Okay. I thought he was gonna block a lot more. To be honest. Oh, he got me. Ah. We go for some kind of uppercut as well, and eh? So I'm guessing we can only use this like special weapon is when we get to get a decent like lasers, you know, at the side. Okay, uh, it's, it's a bit bloody. Is it gonna be the end of the round? Is it okay? He's backing up. He's backing up. I feel like we had him in that round. We had him, guys. We had him. Goodbye, robot man. Oh, he's finding missiles at me. Dodge. Boom. Oh, balls are missed. Too, too late. Do missed. Ah, missing it. Okay, that was a bit cheap. That a bit, a bit, a bit cheap, really. Okay, C combo him. Come oh my god, is that? Oh my god, he's busted the screen. Okay, let's see which way you're gonna attack us with. Oh. Oh, I got him. So I'm guessing we're going to have to attack when he's about to tackle us then. Like, counteract his attacks. Or not. Ooh, he's fast, this guy. Okay. Ah, you didn't see that coming, did you, bro? Okay, fine. Oh, we, we both hit each other then. Okay. I'm not dodging because like I feel like we can get more attacks if we, if we don't. Okay, I feel like whichever way he's going to attack me, we have to attack him that way. Okay, it's fine. Unless we're going to go for a dodge and attack him. Let's try that. Oh, balls. He's going for an attack on me. Ah! Oh my god, he's actually beating us. He's beating us down. Okay. It's fine, you know. Boom, that's what we wanted. A good, good old combo. It's fine. Oh, boom. You like combo, man. Okay, I should have dodged. Like. Okay, fine. It's fine. What laser beams. Laser beam, go. No! 
We're never gonna get two as a special here. Okay, yeah. That was a good shot by him. Also, is that the Crash Bandicoot with the playing in the background? Okay, cool. Oh my god, his nose ring out. Okay, and this is gonna retreat now. Oh my god, that this boss is going pretty awesome. We haven't got to choose out his lasers yet. I don't know why that is, but maybe later on. I'm guessing this will be a really good time to actually use his lasers now. Dodge, dodge, okay. Dodge, and uh, dodge, and dodge. Oh, oh, I got hit on the last one. God damn it. Okay, fight me. Okay. Oh, you missed on that one, didn't you, bruh? You missed on that one. Okay. Oh, boom, bruh. Come on, bring it on. Oh, it should have it got me there. We all saw that. It was a cheap shot. Laser beams activate. Come on. Oh, I hate I hate when we can't dodge with like the laser beams. You know, it's uh, we haven't even got to see the laser beam yet. Okay, it's fine. You know, we should, we should be able to hit him there. Okay, dodge. Okay, it's fine. We've got we've got a quick shot off. Come on. Boom. Okay, this fight's intense, boys. This t this fight is intense. Okay. Oh my god, he busts his jaw. He's gonna retreat. Oh my god, this fight could go either way. It could go either way. Well, I'm, I'm kidding, it can't. We've we probably got, got this in the bag. So, to be honest, I kind of wish I had better dodges, but yeah. Like, it's my first time fighting this boss in years, so. Duck. Yep. Dodge. Yep. Yep. Six time damage, man. Oh my god, wait. Wait, what? Wait, what's happening here? What? What? Defense system down. What? What the hell? Um, I'm guessing we're going to take a beating if we don't handle them pretty fast here. Oh my god, we can't. We're going to have to like, actually like, predict where his shots are going to be. Okay, that's fine, you know, we've got this. Oh, come on, bro. You're going down, bro. Come on. Oh, good shot, man. Good, good dodge. Okay, it's fine. We're going to try to play safe now. Let's go for a laser. No! Oh, for God's sake, man. I'm never going to get to use that laser attack. Oh, okay, I'm a bit disappointed that the laser beam's gone down. Oh, oh my God. Stop. He's giving me a massive beer. No! Okay, it's fine, you know. Oh, God damn it, man. When he gets get that combo going, you can do some serious amount of damage to us. You know what I mean? Okay, that was a good shot by me. Good timing. Okay. It, I dodged that then. We all saw that. Ah. Come on then, bro. Is he nearly down? Come on. I kind of wish I did this fight a bit better, but... Ah. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Come on. Oh, we got him. We got him. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was so close, man. That fight was so close. I kind of wish we had man managed that a bit better, but what can you do? Sometimes it's just... Ah, oh, we struggle. We struggle. And that fight was... Intense. I'm not gonna lie, that boss is pretty cool though, isn't it? Let's be honest, it is a pretty cool boss. But we did beat him. Do we get a, a grade for that? I hope we do. Ooh, we got a new high score, we got no coinage sadly. So it count as a kill? It does. Oh wow. Pretty cool. And we don't get a grade. Oh wait, we do. We do. Okay. That was worth it. I'm kind of curious if we can actually go back and do that mission again to get like more points or whatever. So I'm actually gonna try to do that. So yeah, welcome to the second world of the game. And to be honest, the cinematics in this game are beautiful. So yeah, we're in a, a second world, and there's a whole new area to explore. And to be honest, it is pretty goddamn cool. This is probably my favorite area of the game. I'm so happy we're finally here. So cool. But yes, we're in a new area. What up? Oh, look at all this. Odor is more powerful than I could have ever imagined. He is building all his weaponry here in this bay. Oh wow, we're a bit evil. Have to sabotage his operations before it's too late. Recall that time and tide make Jack a uh, dull boy. Okay. And that's supposed so, to help me. So yeah, we're in a new area. We beat the boss. We got some more grades. But I do think it's about time to end off the video here. So, this video, please go like. We really appreciate. It. Next time, I'm going to go and explore this area. Yeah, there's, there's so many more different. Th uh, there's so much more different things to do here, and I'm really looking forward to it. So I shall see you guys next time for more Eye Ninja. I'll see you guys then. Peace.